Growing up, my dad was an electrical engineer. And so I was always around tech and always respected what he did. In college, to date myself a little bit, my dad and I wrote a Y2K tester in C++. And so I wrote this thing that would like circumvent Windows 95 to check, is your BIOS gonna work uh, in 2000? And he could go around and you know sell that as a service. And so from that, that was kind of the start. It was just like, it was this ability to create something. And yeah, from there it just kind of took off. I'm Nate Taylor. Uh, I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, I am a uh, director of software development for Pluralsight. When I step away from the computer, not working, the three things I probably enjoy the most, we've got a cabin that we built, and so spending time there. I did some work to create a koi pond this past summer. And then Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which I've been doing for about eight years now. I'm not from Omaha originally, from Kansas City. I met my wife in Omaha, she's not from Omaha originally. We both liked it when we lived here. And so we picked Omaha to come here because we're like, we can write software anywhere. We've jokingly told the kids, or maybe it's not jokingly, uh, that we're not leaving the house unless they're gonna put us in a nursing home. Um, so that's kind of the what we're looking at here. I'd been doing conference speaking for, I don't know, two or three years maybe. It's fun to go speak at a conference, but at a good conference, maybe you reach 200 people and you have to go to the next conference to reach the next 200. And personally, I don't, I don't wanna be traveling all the time. And at the time I knew of Pluralsight, and so I'm like, I could create a course and like be sitting on my couch watching TV and people could be watching that course. Uh, and so that was really exciting. You know, I went through the application process and, and then, you know, the rest was history, I guess. It sounds cliche, but I get the chance to help people not make the mistakes I made and to get them uh, further down their career faster than, than I did. Um, you know, why not take that opportunity? So as I was working on the courses uh, and, and attending author summits and talking to people on Slack, it was one of those things where it's just like, the more involved with Pluralsight I was, um, the more I realized that this was a place to be. In fact, I made the decision to apply to Pluralsight during an author summit, during one of, um, I think it was Aaron's keynote. Uh, and it was just kind of like, I reached out to my ASM and I said, do you guys hire remote people? Because I think this is a place I wanna be. And everyone was just super helpful and eager. And it was just like, okay, it's not just the author side, it's the internal side, it's the accounting side, it's the legal side. Like everyone really seems to embody that. And it's been, uh, it's been great, um, you know, that, that uh, I think I told somebody like, I haven't seen any jerks yet, which is great um, because it's, uh, because it's honestly, it's strange uh, to be 10, 10, 12 months in and not have met a jerk yet at a company. Uh, I, that might be the first. Um, so what I see is what I get. I haven't seen empire building. I don't know if that's an actual like industry accepted term, but for me, that just means that like, I haven't seen anyone where they're like, no, I have, these are my engineers, I have to hoard them. Everyone realizes that like, well, they're all Pluralsight people and they're all gonna make Pluralsight better. So let's go where, you know, let's get them to a place where they make sense. You know, I might not be the best software engineer, um, but I can work with software engineers that are building things that help other people be even better. It's helping our, in, our learners change their lives, improve their families. Um, but it's also helping their clients and their customers have better lives. And so it's just kind of that whole thing of like, this is a really, in some ways, unique opportunity. Um, I mean, there's lots of, I think there's several jobs I could go take that I would enjoy and that are doing good things, but this has like so many second and third order effects that it was just kind of like, yeah, this is something I wanna, I wanna be a part of.